Here are some beginner tips to help you get started in Zero Sievert. In the main base, you can restore your fatigue by the beds in any of the bedrooms. From the entrance, just head up and they'll be on your right side. After unlocking the green army area, you can also sleep in their barracks. Every 30 minutes of sleep restores aid fatigue, so 6 hours of rest will almost completely fill up your sleep from zero. Hit F to start sleeping, and when the time slider turns green, that means your fatigue will be fully restored. If you're bleeding or irradiated, don't bother using your meds if you're near an exit. Returning to the main base removes all radiation and bleeds from the player. Your HP regenerates over time, whether in the base or in the wild. Wounds will not restore on their own and must be fixed with either a first aid kit or at the doctor's. If you don't have enough space in your inventory, you won't be able to hand in a quest, so don't worry about missing out on rewards if you accidentally try to complete a quest when you've got no space left. You can see where the fire anomalies are by watching for the orange orbs that fade in and out. If you press G, you'll throw a bolt that you have an infinite amount of. This will trigger the anomaly, showing you where it is. It doesn't disappear after being triggered, so avoid stepping on it. Concrete barriers and slabs, vehicles, and cargo containers are highly irradiated. Stay away from them to avoid becoming irradiated yourself. You can also listen for the telltale clicking of a Geiger counter to let you know if you're in an irradiation zone. If you hear this noise, avoid the area. If you start to see static appearing on your screen, move out of the area immediately as you're in a high radiation area. When you hit a radiation level of 5, you become dangerously irradiated. In this state, you'll start randomly bleeding. You can get cheaper food and water by buying the ingredients and crafting the better food instead of buying it outright. Two rotten bread costs 60 rubles, and can make one normal bread, which normally costs 100, saving you 40 rubles. The same thing can be done with two empty water bottles to craft one full bottle, saving you another 220 rubles. All stores share the same money pool, so if one trader runs out of money and you want to sell more stuff, don't bother going to another one. You'll have to wait until the next day at 7am when the trader's inventories and money reset to 18,000 rubles. If you press K, the game will zoom in on your character and you'll do a small animation with your weapon. This doesn't really do anything, but I thought it was a fun little feature, the thefts included. You can press F1 to toggle the FPS counter in the top left corner of the screen. Pressing F12 will unlock the debug menu. Once you press F1 after unlocking the menu, it gives you a list of cheat codes that you can use. I hope this quick guide is helpful, and if you have any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching.